All right, this is it. This is finally here. This is the thing people have been waiting for for years. Marvel has made 18 movies in the past 10 years and has all been leading up to this. This is Avengers Infinity War directed by Joe and Anthony Russo and it stars basically everyone from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And the main liner here is Thanos played by Josh Brolin. This movie is about a quest. It's inspired from the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. Thanos is on the quest to find all the six Infinity Stones. With a snap of his finger, he can basically eliminate half of the human race. And the Avengers don't want that to happen. So basically, and two of the members of and two heroes on Earth have Infinity Stones. So basically, this movie is about them trying to survive this onslaught and trying to stop Thanos from killing half of the human race. What I like about this movie, first of all, is Josh Brolin as Thanos. People have complained that the Marvel movies have been very, very weak in their villains, but Thanos is not an exception. He is a fantastic villain. He has a really good motivation, which I won't give detail, but when you think about it, dude, you may, you, I, you kind of make sense, kind of like Killmonger and Black Panther, but here, Thanos is the sole focus because I felt Killmonger, though he was fantastic, he doesn't appear until basically until the halfway point of the movie that much. His presence is not felt throughout the beginning. And here Thanos is really a threat from the opening act to the end of the movie. And he's fantastic. The CG elements on him is fantastic and it looks very, very realistic. The other cast members do a solid job. Robert Downey Jr. Um, does a good job. Tom Holland's actually really good. Zoe Saldana and a bunch of other people are really good in this movie. Some characters do get a lot of screen time, like Gamora, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man even, um, and um, Thor. Some others do get sidelined, and that is unfortunate. But hey, the Russos said that the people who get sidelined in this movie are going to be main feature in Avengers 4. And hopefully that's true. Um, the story is basic, and it works. Because mostly the villain, Thanos, is very scary. I haven't been this scared in a villain in a while. The action... This is basically one whole action movie. So there isn't a lot of development with characters not named Thanos. I mean, some characters do get really good character development. But they... It isn't as much as the other movies. But hey, you got 18 other movies and movies coming into the future with character development for those guys. And um, the Black Order also. Um, they were okay. Some get to utilize like the one who does that thing. He got, gets quite a few to do. The others are eh. That's what people feared about Thanos. They're gonna be eh. Anyways, um, the visuals look good. Um, the film looks shot, shot wise. It looks pretty good, and um, it looked well consistently because um, it it wasn't very bleak, which is really good. Um, the Russos have directed two films prior: Captain America: The Winter Soldier, and Captain America: Civil War, and um. They balance, for me, they balance this movie as best as they could because with all of these characters, it is really easy to mess up and not handle them well. And even though I said some get short-handed, the way they do it, the pacing is as good as it can be. I don't think it can be any better than this. And I'm, I'm going to commend them because this is a really, really hard task to do. And they pull it off magnificently. The action sequences, while not... None of them are like a super spectacle. I was like nervous in my seat. I was like gripping my, my jaw dropped multiple times throughout this movie on how they did the story. And I was just gripping like, oh my God. And I was that tense and throughout the movie. And I can, I haven't felt this much emotion. I laughed, I cried and I didn't cry. My heart hurt. <laughs> I... I went through a roller coaster of emotions throughout this movie. Also, the, yeah, the humor was there, and it wasn't. It was good, and it didn't really bother much of the story. Sure, there were kind of a few times, maybe like, oh, 
Haha, -ha, we're breaking immersion, but no. Anyways, Avengers Infinity War is a fantastic movie. I cannot recommend it enough. But most of you will probably see it because it's the Avengers movie. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a spoiler review because I cannot talk about this movie enough. I give it a 5 out of 5. Migo from The Fry Geek Show, out.